let's say state and then we'll take let's say profit right simple chart nothing i mean not a chart basically it is just a cross table what we just created now we'll see that how we can leverage the further formatting okay formatting right i'll just go ahead and convert this profit into some bars some bars like this okay so far so good okay now what i'll do i'll just sort it out so you will know that is starting from this point you have you know your data reducing and then later on it's going towards negative right so what we can do here is i mean as you already saw that we can add labels if you wish you can put color by profit so for example like this right now if i ask you i just want to see the top five states by profit by sales by quantity any of those measures mm -hmm. how would we do five. that right i want only top five states by profit uh, let's say first of all let's do the by profit so what i'll do i'll go to filters will drag state over here right over here you have wildcard condition and top so we briefly talked about it earlier that in general you can select in if it is select from the list all of these things will be selected automatically but let's say if you selected taken this option clicked OK and applied and deployed this dashboard and in future let's say new values get added those will still remain unchecked they will not be checked right if you want them to be selected automatically you need to select this option right so that anything whichever comes into your database automatically that will be shown into visualization related to state if they remove anything from data it will go away if they add anything that will automatically come but if you select this option these values will be static and in that case if anything new comes in you will not be able to see that if anything goes away you will still see in the list but you will not get the data right the custom value is like you can select anything uh, or some of the values which you have in your data so for example let's say i just put these three words clicked mm -hmm. enter i can see these two my values right now if i go with this option i will see only these two values in my filters mm -hmm. right so generally we prefer this one use all then if you go to wildcard wildcard is again like it will work similar to that see i just put that wildcard and i got two values here right so i just put these two right so whatever wildcard or the letter you put here let's say if i put all the states which names starts from a okay I want all the states wherein the name starts from A. So mm -hmm. that is Alabama, Arkansas, and Arizona. One question: if I, Are the states sensitive or 
No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not case sensitive. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Right. So then ends with or exactly matches or these different options are there like include all values when empty. So let's say whatever you put here, let's say you put K and there is no match. Right in that case, it says include all values when empty. It will show everything. Okay. Now let me clear this out. Then we'll go to conditions. So in conditions, Generally, we use this condition by field, but frankly speaking till now I have never used this formula thing. Okay. I have never used it. No. This is this is this is what we use a lot. So okay. uh, we were we were talking about right like let's say um, you can filter it out by profit sum of profit greater than less than all that and you can define your value here. Yes. Right. Or let's say you want only things to come up wherein your profit and sales lies between these two. Mm -hmm. Profit lies between these two. So these type of conditions you can apply. Right mm -hmm. now I had profit over here. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you want you can filter it by sales. Not necessary that you use the same measure to filter. Mm -hmm. You can take quantity also. Where is quantity? Yeah. Okay, so these things will be there and the maximum one which is used is I mean either you use the first step that is a maximum used or then you can use the top one. So this field basically helps you to find out top or bottom. Okay, top or bottom. If you put top and whatever number you mention here, let's say top 10, top 12, top 15, whatever, by profit or sum. Right? By average, count, all whatever you want to apply, those aggregations on profit, sales, quantity, whichever field you want to take. Let's say by sales, I want my 15 states top 15 states by sales. Okay, we'll say apply and you'll see here. This represents profit. Under top 15 states by sales, I have these many states wherein we are making negative profit. Though they are part of highest sale, but still they are negative in profit. Mm -hmm. You understand that analysis? Yeah, top 10 sales. Right. Go to the field and please once again. Top 10, 15, same. By mm -hmm. sum of. By sum. Yeah, profit is already there. Yeah. Uh, why is the sum being included? See top 15 by sales we are getting. I mean we have applied filter on only states by sales. Mm -hmm. But in the visualization we have represented profit. Okay. So we are saying though these states have high number of sales volume. Mm -hmm. But there is no margin. We are making negative profit. Mm -hmm. See these many states. It's a huge number. Getting right, so let's see. I'll just make it 10. Let's see what happens in 10. Right, still in 10, we have 50% population wherein we are negative in terms of profit, though we have good sales. There, mm -hmm. okay. Now, similarly, we can do bottom also. So I'll go ahead and select top and change it to bottom and we'll say apply. So over here if you see. Okay, these are the top 10 states wherein our sales is less. 
right bottom states wherein sales is less but the good thing is that we are still making profit there okay no this color is profit only no i didn't get what you are asking the dark color represents the profit right no 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 see dark color over here see what i did i dragged the profit on to this color right mm -hmm. now if you see here let me let me go to worksheet reset cards look at this thing okay right this is the scale it's for profit only if your profit is less it will be light blue light blue if it is high profit it will be blue uh, dark blue right so that is the thing uh, before that we had uh, top right over here if you see if it is a red color or orange color which means you are still it is profit but it is on the negative side blue means positive this one is negative you can change this scheme by going here this is the color scheme what it is using right now right you can change this scheme maybe you can put it into red or green right so if it is red, towards red which means it's a negative if it is green which means it is positive okay so top and this bottom thing you understood right mm -hmm. top and bottom fair enough right yes sir. now as a user as a business users right i have put a, let's say as a developer i put 10 here and i publish this so as a user i will not be able to change that number i will i will always see 10 10 states right yes. if you need to give a flexibility to user so that they can change it to 5 they can change it to 10 they can change it to 2 whatever they want they should be able to change mm -hmm. how can we give that flexibility you show, show, filter. show filter of states yeah. it will give you the name of the states that's it what set no so we don't need to use set here right now what we will do if i'll go to this filter again if you see here we had top and bottom into this drop down but into this drop down we had enter a value or create a new parameter right so so far we had a value over here now let's go ahead and create a new parameter right i'll click on it it will open this pop-up and over here we'll say uh top slash let's let's stop only right now top states current value is 10 and minimum and maximum it says 1 and 100 okay so the in us how many states means, are there currently yeah currently 10 values i mean basically it will be a default value okay right so how many states are there in us okay uh, i think it's 51 mm -hmm. okay so let me put 50 or 51 then you put step size like how many you want to kind of switch in one go right so 1 to 51 and one step size i'll say okay and apply and okay so over here you see as soon as we did that this is the control which appeared here 
and it has default value of 10. Currently, we can see 10, uh, 10 states. Okay. No, default value, see, right now, default value is what? As soon as you come to this report, what is the value which will be already selected? Right? If you want, you can change it. If you want, you can change it. But this will be the value which will be by default selected. Okay. Right. Now, if you want to change it, I'm just changing it. So you'll see. Automatically, these values will come and go. And it's available to users. They want to see top 10 states by sales. They can select top 10, top 18, top 24, whichever they want. OK. Right, there is one feature they added. They call it animation. I don't know whether it is working properly. Animation, OK, it's not there in this version. It's 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in your it will be there. 2020 it is there. So yeah, that will be. Hello. Where we can find it? Yes, it's there in uh, format. In, in format only, yeah. Right. So that gives a little bit flexibility. So what happens? Like once I change it, right? Mm -hmm. It what it happens? It uh, changes, you know, very statically. Mm -hmm. Right. Over there, you will see the animation. A little bit flow, you will see. Okay. It will change smoothly, so that's a that's a that is what they have added in 2020. Okay. Right. Now this is like what we can see as top. Similarly, if we go here, and sorry, not this one. We'll go here. We select. Sorry, we'll select bottom, and the same feature will work here also. Okay. Right. No, separate separate no separate parameter for the bottom field. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now it is not there mm -hmm. because you need to change these things. Okay. But just just think about user. User mm -hmm. cannot go here and change, right? Mm -hmm. So how would you solve these problems? See, as a developer, you have all these options available. Mm -hmm. But as a uh, as an end user, do you have that capability? Mm -hmm. How would you how can you provide that? If it is not there, how can you provide that? Mm -hmm. How many other types of you can do it for bottom? See, uh, either okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, there is another way, but over here you don't have anything which you can drive by parameters. You cannot. Mm -hmm. Right? Had been it a flexibility to drive it by parameter, we could have done it. But as of now, I don't see. Bottom over here also there is no parameters. So which means this cannot be done right now, right? Which means we cannot make it uh, dynamic so that user can see, user can change whether they want to see top or bottom, right? But, but, but there is one way through which we can at least show both together. Right together. When I said together, I'll be showing. Let's say if I selected over here as 10, I will show them top 10 and top bottom both. Sorry, there is no nothing called top bottom. Top 10 
and bottom 10 in the same view right in the same view or in the separate view wherever you want so that thing is possible and how can we achieve that for that i'll this is my state filter right mm -hmm. i'll go here click drop down and we'll say create set okay. so in this situation this is my top view mm -hmm. i can see top 10 states so i'll simply say this as top okay in just a minute is it my top view uh edit filters okay it's bottom it's a bottom one not top right so i'll create set and we'll say it bottom actually it is bottom by sales right that's why that's why it is a confusion so i'll just select it as bottom only because bottom sales will say okay so one set has been created now similarly i'll change this into top and we'll create this view this set we'll call it as top So this is another set which got created, mm -hmm. right? So for dashboard users, you can what you can do is you can drag these two into different different sheet and put it on dashboard. So two different sheets you can so show, or two different charts you can show. Over there you can change these numbers and both will change automatically, mm -hmm. right? Let me let me show that so that you don't get confused. It's a bottom one will drag will drag state and will drag profit right and uh, you can show parameter control and one more so over here i'll drag so what i dragged here bottom on this i will drag top and we'll show this and parameter control change it to this one okay what happened Top state, top state, top state. This is the parameter, right? There is only set of right. Yeah, this is the way. So you have one and two. What we can do is we can go to dashboard and drag these 13 and 14 over here and change our parameter. So you can see by changing this. I'm able to change both. Okay, this is one, one of, yeah, this is one of the way, right? And it might be better also because right now I'm filtering basis my sales. I'm showing profit, but I'm filtering basis my sales, right? So it's better to show in different visualizations. But, but there is one more way over here. If I want to show it only by, you know, let's say edit set. And over here, if you just want to show it by profit, I have profit and I want to do it only by profit. Edit, change it to profit. I just change these sets, right? if you go to dashboard now so what what happens here the numbers are changing in both right but there is a specific pattern like one is showing profit sorry one is showing ascending order and another is kind of showing descending order right so if you want you can combine these both charts into one right so at the place of showing two sheets why not to create in one sheet only? Right? 
correct so what we can do in in this situation is in this situation we can remove this state from here or even before that you have these two sets over here right i'll go ahead and say create combined set mm -hmm. and this is exactly the same thing what you had in the set theory mm -hmm. top and bottom you see i'm going to combine two sets my bottom and top both okay it's a union mm -hmm. all the members of both sets if you want to show only common sets intersection you can do this shared members in both the sets okay if you want to do a minus b means only elements which are in a not in b you can follow this and if you want to show all the members of b but they should not be in a you can follow this okay. correct so i'll just click okay combine one it will show both and now this time i'll remove states from filters and drag this filter to the sorry this set to the filters okay now from here if you go here right you can see these are your negative profit states these are your positive profit states so top 5 bottom 5 by profit mm -hmm. top 6 bottom 6 top 8 bottom 8 so both the views into one chart right so what we did first of all we created a simple chart using this filter wherein we were able to show top and bottom then depending on one particular condition if it is top we created top set using a parameter if it was bottom we created bottom set using the parameter and then we combined both the sets to create top and bottom and we dragged that onto the filters card understood the flow any questions think about it once again currently as of now no because we created two different sets then we combined it to single set to show no right mm -hmm. this is a very common requirement uh, you know what we get okay, okay. we do we do any dual access kind of thing in this right here we are, yeah here we have not done any, done any kind of dual access so this create instead of that we just create sets yeah both, yeah right we created sets and filters with parameters mm -hmm. all right yes. then i'll just remove these sheets okay they are on dashboard so that's why i can't see the delete option now i would this is top versus bottom now let's go ahead we have not created any map chart right no okay so see in your data wherever let's say you have city country region or postal code these are your geographical fields where you see this globe icon yes using any of these fields you can create map right i'll go ahead and click on the map automatically it will get plotted here right okay. but it doesn't it doesn't have any data as of now mm -hmm. right now another challenge is if you see what i have got here 49 unknowns right why because uh, i'm not looking into that so 
whatever values we will have here in this particular state field right mm -hmm. tableau is not able to understand that what these states are i selected a state mm -hmm. i'm telling tableau that these are the states but tableau is not able to understand that these are states mm -hmm. so we need to tell tableau or we need to guide tableau to map these then only it will understand right how can we do that i'll just right click over here this thing will appear right it says edit locations i'll click on edit locations and then if you just read this properly it says country or region india state and province is state field what i'm using and it shows these values okay. do we have these states in india no that's what w is not able to understand mm -hmm. but how by default it selected india country because while installation of tableau in my system i gave mm -hmm. my address of india okay so tableau is taking default location as india okay right but in my data these states doesn't belong to india that's why mm -hmm. tableau is not able to understand so i need to go here in the drop down i need to select and tell tableau that these states are belonging to mm -hmm. usa okay and as soon as we do that now you see then that uncategorized value which you are getting that has gone mm -hmm. And if you say okay, right, yes. that warning is gone. You got all the states here of USA. So now your map is ready, but there is no measures as of now on it. So we need to drag measures so that we can report what we want, right? and in order to report let's say you can drag maybe profit for example profit on colors right so these all states will have a different different color based on the profit they generate right that's one so for example texas louisiana or different different other states what is the profit there you can see that let's say you want to see show this by circles you can always select these circles and show it like this maybe you want these circles by profit that whichever state has more profit the circle of those should be bigger right something like this right maybe you want to show the different shape for each state you can drag state on the shapes card so each state will be represented by a different shape that doesn't look good actually so i'll just remove it and over here right uh, other thing could be like you are showing labels on your profit but maybe the size you wanted by sales so labels are profit and sales you can put it on size right so this state california has the maximum sales over here new york has the second level of sales mm -hmm. then you have washington so california new york and washington have the maximum sales mm -hmm. right other than this because this data has you know date field isn't it we have the date field here mm -hmm. our data i'm not talking about this map right now but our data has date okay when i say our data has date basically what i'm trying to say is we have order date we have ship date these dates are there right mm -hmm. 
I'll drag date on to pages again the same control and we'll go ahead and change the months right so in January 2016 this was the status okay if you kind of change it further see what happens how you are getting different different sales in different different months right but this time it is showing the sales for a particular month maybe you would like to show the running total so that as you increase your time period you would like to see the all the sales cumulative sales getting if you are mm-hmm. reporting if you are doing it on presentation you would like to show the cumulative sales right i mean like year to date since january 2020 20 how much sales we have done in april i mean until april right so for that you need to kind of profit go to profit at the place of sum select calculated field and do running total okay so it will keep adding that right so over here Okay, we do running total starts automatically. Exactly. Okay. Further to this, you can show other things also. Mm-hmm. See. Mm-hmm. And and animation type of. Exactly. right so these things can be done over here one more thing i mean generally people don't prefer that i have seen in one of the dashboard it looked good to me i mean it's it depends on the use case mm-hmm. not to be done everywhere but it depends on the use case so for example for example um okay i'll just remove this circle right now we'll say automatic or maybe shape 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 okay like this i'll go to this filter and will okay let me remove this because i don't need it now over here i'll just select single value drop down mm-hmm. so what will happen what you are doing is you are giving user a flexibility to see one state at a time yeah. right right so you can do that also it depends if you are doing a very granular level of you know study then you can mm-hmm. do it but mm-hmm. if you want to show the global data or summary data then these things are not preferable okay right you are showing one state at a time mm-hmm. and the numbers there you can put a lot of summary right because it's just one state at this moment mm-hmm. texas Okay, so I'll just remove this for an hour. Remove filter. We'll go back. Okay, so this is related to the map. Now, okay, few few more things in the map. If you kind of uh, go to map and over here you will see these different other options so you can select map layer and then you see some other options related to map if you want to change the look and feel mm-hmm. right so you can play with these okay what type of map you want to show generally it is default wash out 100% you won't see anything then repeat background 
repeat background is basically if in case of the whole word you will see kind of let's say like this mm -hmm. this is the repeat map you'll see us thrice right at this moment okay yeah. then you have few more things you want to apply a few more you know kind of formatting to the borders and territories of the map you can mm -hmm. check and check these things Right, something like this. Mm -hmm. so these are the default options given. Correct, correct. Right, so. Generally, don't get these many requirements. I mean, they simply ask like they want to see the uh, data on geo or us map that's it mm -hmm. nobody asks like show me this color show me this kind mm -hmm. of reason uh, yeah but yes in case you get you should be aware that yeah okay these are the options you can change mm -hmm. right now my question is for example i mean at the beginning of this map we saw like the states which we had they were not related to india and tableau was not able to understand mm -hmm. right so we went ahead and kind of changed that India to US and we were able to see that Tableau understood all the mapping and it presented it on map. Sure. There could be scenarios wherein, let's say all of a sudden there is a new island which appears. Okay. How can we plot that map over here? Do Tableau need to go, Tableau company need to go and implement that into software, then we will be able to see that? Or? There will be some edit options in that. We can edit and manually we can give a name to that, something like that. Not like that. Actually, mm -hmm. these map things, right? Geographical map. Again, mm -hmm. it's a map, right? It's a graph. Mm -hmm. The way in pie chart or uh, you know bar chart, we have x axis, y axis, and g x z axis coordinates. Mm -hmm. We, we have coordinates it. here also, right? Yes. These coordinates are latitude and longitude. Longitude, yes. Right, those information. So yes. at any point, any place in the map you have an information related to the latitude and longitudinal information and you can see here right that is what is plotted here automatically i and dragged it. state i dragged the state but automatically yes. this came yes right so if anybody will come to know okay there is a new island which just appeared in middle of the ocean or right mm -hmm. we would know automatically what would be the latitude and longitudinal information we can get that right yes and if you have that information we can plot that yes okay right tableau gives you features to upload geocoding okay so if you have mapping of longitude and latitude information related to any space any area any location any land when i say land it could be a small part of your village also mm -hmm. But how right. can you, we can get this longitude and latitude from where we can get that information? See, again, again, it's, again, it's need. I mean, see, in order to do any analysis, you need data, right? Yes. That is the data you need about your space, which you want to plot here. Yes. Right. If you have that data, you can plot it here. Mm -hmm. It's 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 possible that that place doesn't have any name. But if you have latitude and longitude information, you can plot that here. Yes. Okay. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Even in your, let's say, in your village or any place, if you know the coordinates of a particular place, right, mm -hmm. you can plot that here automatically. You can dra upload that file and you can see. So for uploading, you need a CSV file actually. Okay. Right. And you can plot that map. 
right not only related to geographical locations but also let's say metro is there right metro mm -hmm. train you have the map of that if you know the coordinates of different different stations you mm -hmm. can plot those stations over this particular indian map or us map wherever you want yes right so those things are also there here you see background images you can mm -hmm. take the photo of complete metro what we call it mm -hmm. complete met metro channel right not metro channel what we call it network right mm -hmm. so you can you will have all the routes and all station locations and if you have latitude and longitudinal information of each metro station you can plot that here on the image okay see ultimately over here if you see it's an image only in the back end right yes on top of that you have plotted your states with help of latitude and longitude so that the same thing i'm talking about mm -hmm. right so every all those things are possible mm -hmm. so you can zoom in zoom out okay. right and it uses the map box open street map right now that the server server what it uses mm -hmm. in case right in case you want to use any custom chart or custom map provider you can mm -hmm. go to map and you can go to map service over here you can add the urls related to world map servers okay right so if you get any map you can put it here and you will be able to see that right let's do one thing i'll go to google and we'll type sample word map server url for w Okay, let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it is actually a map or a simple URL. Yes, it worked. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what it is that I don't know. To the blank screen. <laughs> That's what. Okay, it came. Okay. Right. See again, what is happening? We are connecting to some third-party map. Yes. So whatever they have. No, in W, is it uh, we can use it for party tools without the mm -hmm. this one, or we need to integrate, or we can just directly put the URL and use it. See, I just put that URL here, right? As soon as mm -hmm. you will kind of deploy or publish, it is already added. There is no. integration in terms of development required it's already added here mm -hmm. okay there is no further change or anything is required it's already added you can mm -hmm. share it with anybody because see that map url will be saved here see okay if you want to use a default you can use a default depends on what you want to use right okay, okay. so this is one of the example of mapping layers which are available see over here if you see earlier whatever map we were using we had number of layers 
Okay. Over here we have very few. Okay. Right. It's connecting okay. to their server and then fetches the information. So that's why okay. it is little slow. Okay. okay. Different different patterns. And over here there is no low uh, no layers over here. Okay, so okay. that is related to map that you can integrate mm -hmm. on map itself again. I mean, if you go to background maps, so what Tableau does generally it offers uh, follows either Tableau or offline. So if you go to offline, this is what you will get. Mm -hmm. If you select Tableau, you will get this one. There isn't much okay. difference. Both are provided by OpenStreetMap. Mm -hmm. And because we added one, if you select that, you'll get this one. Right. Now, other than this, you can add as many maps you want, mm -hmm. map services. You can set it as default also, so that next time you open the tab, you automatically it will be selected. Okay, means this is the one we can set as default. Means next time when it opens, it uses the WMS for the, this. Correct, correct. Okay. Okay. Then background images. So this is related to that only when you can import your image and like Metro map and show mm -hmm. it. But but for that you need some coordinates. Right. Okay. Geocoding, you can import geocoding. Right? Mm -hmm. Then what edit. Uh, can you please repeat your question? What is it import testing geocoding? Yeah, importing basically that longitude and latitude information. Okay. okay. Then you have edit location. So this is what we already saw, wherein mm -hmm. we were able to kind of map this. Mm -hmm. Several other options are there, like for over here, we had the full name of state, right? Yes. Yeah. So sometimes you will get only three characters of state. Okay. Or two characters of state. So mm -hmm. accordingly, you need to select these things, two characters, or uh, let's say some other country this data belong to, what it is. You can select all those options here. Okay. Because tab until unless Tableau won't understand, right? It will not be able to map. So that's why mm -hmm. it is very important for Tableau to understand. Mm -hmm. Then, then we have edit location. It's done. Map mm -hmm. layers. Map layer we already saw. This option will come. Okay. Over here, related to any map, you can select further options. Yes. Then you have map options. Okay. So it is related to this toolbar, what you get here. This toolbar. Mm -hmm. okay. You can kind of select, let's say, this one to highlight anything. Mm -hmm. Or let's say, if it is this, you can put it like this. And you will see further details. Zoom in, zoom out. Mm -hmm. Or let's say like this highlighters. Then you have zoom in, sorry, it's zoom out. Mm -hmm. Right, it's related to the word map, it's zoom out, and then you can zoom in. So this either double click or do like that. So you'll be able to zoom in, zoom out. Mm -hmm. so this is a tool bar related to map, map options. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is related to map. We saw top to bottom and map. So basically for summary, um, I mean, in any, any dashboard, what mm -hmm. we do, I generally follow three layer of you know design. Okay. Three layer. When I say three layer, basically in top layer, I'll be putting the high level summary. Mm -hmm. Right. Then you can filter out some of the data, and in the second layer, you can show the little detailed information. Okay. And in the last segment of the dashboard, you can see the row level information. Okay. Right. So that is a that is the approach what I follow. 
so mm-hmm. the charts like map or maybe maybe the donut mm-hmm. right or like this pie chart these th- these things i will put in the first layer wherein you are showing the summary okay right then you can filter out and then you can go to the second level information wherein i generally show these bar charts and trend charts mm-hmm. right or map can also go into first one only first layer okay then in the third one i show the cross tables okay. like this so what will happen either if you are on map or on a pie chart you can select a particular state in the second one you will see the trend or uh, you know the detailed information related to that state okay. and then if you select over here let's say one element then in the fourth one you will see only that record what you have selected okay right so this is how the filters work in the dashboard and you can keep filtering the data on each level and you can get the proper information okay right so that's the structure what i follow Mm-hmm. and we'll we'll do the same thing once we start working on the dashboard okay. right so any questions any other question today nothing i just want